I am freaking out. Now technically, I live in New York, zone 6, A, B, doesn't really matter. Microclimates and elevation and all that. So, I really have plenty of time. According to this nice little calendar I got from the Hudson Valley Seed Company catalog. Artwork by Cynthia Cliff. I can plant starting mid-February. But I know for a fact that if I want to set myself up for success, I should be already planting certain things. Particularly my onions, leeks, artichokes maybe. I have to check on that one. I need to plant them now. So, the long awaited going through the box of seeds. Now I wanted to do this live, but day after day just kept going by and it just didn't, didn't come through. So here we are today. Now I don't have that many seeds, I don't think. It won't take me that long. But there's certain considerations I have to make. I'm embarking on a spring project that hinges on getting everything timed properly. I also need to place my next to last order in really soon if A, I don't want to run out of certain seeds and B, certain supplies. Because as we get closer to it, things are going to start, going to start running out. Alright, so I have nothing fancy. I haven't I haven't upgraded to those fancy photo album boxes. I have enough plastic in my life. But I, I am gonna upgrade at some point to a larger tote and make my own partitions. They won't be nice and secure from the elements. The basement temperature is, you know pretty even so I'm not worried about moisture and things like that or at least not yet this is the first second year that I've really saved a lot of seeds so I don't really know how well these stood up to the temperatures in the basement now last year and I think going forward I, I categorized my seeds at least early on by month because that gives me, all right, it's January, I'm going to sow this February, that, 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 that. Then comes, you know, June, then I start making a mess because I'm sowing again. So then the seeds start to move around as we go. But I found this method pretty effective for me. Onions. I should have started my onions already and leeks, like I said. So I have... Now this will be interesting because this is the second, it's been a whole year that this onion's been here in this bag and onions are known to have a very short lifespan, the seeds. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of germination I get from some of these onions. I didn't completely flake out, I did put in a bunch of basil already. Alright, so we have all the basils taken care of. So right now, initially, I'm going to put these in alphabetical order. That will just help me in my other project. And then I'll put them back in the month, month um, category. I need some leeks. These I'm going to set aside because I'm sowing this soon. <laughs> in the next today or not, or tomorrow. I have oregano that I started earlier last year. I'll hold off on that. Bunching onions. Hold off on that. And then I save some of my seed packets from seeds I've grown in the past, so I remind myself what I've grown. February. So things like lettuce, I sow that, you know, every so often, so it doesn't really matter what month that's in. I got sorrel, spinach, bloomsdale, giant noble. And I don't plan on, on getting any more varieties until I've run out. I'm not... I'm not planting, you know, fields of these. There's enough here 
to get me through this season. Celery, celery. I think I have time for that. So let's see, celery. Yeah, I can start that in March. Yeah, I found that I did certain things too early last year, so they were getting a bit big for their containers. They were still indoors before I could transplant them. There were also things that I could have transplanted earlier, but I just, I wasn't sure in myself, so I didn't. But certainly celery can wait. Um, I don't know why I have this in February. I have my ground, Aunt Molly's ground cherries. I think that can wait. Hmm. Have the arrow. I still have lots of yarrow. Yay. Thought I was out of that. I've got Miner's Lettuce, Upland Crest, Vit, Marsh, Marsh. So these I pretty much put in containers because we don't eat that much of these. And, and some of them get, um, I think, a little bit invasive. So I keep these in containers. Arugula, plant plenty of those for sure. I got the Slow Bolt. And this one doesn't say. More spinach, the red Malabar, really good spinach. Kales, we got our standard red Ursa, La And now we have our Asian greens, Tatsoi, Pak Choy. Seems to be that I'm out of Bok Choy, but I'm okay with that. All right, in March we have more lettuce, of course. Where did I put the lettuce? Okay. Beets. The cylindra. These carrots. The Danvers and Rainbow Blend. Chard, Swiss chard. It's the rainbow Swiss chard. They don't have too much of that left. Cilantro. More Swiss chard. We got our peppers. Got ancho poblano for some reason. I have two packets of jalapeno. Um, what's this one? This is the bell rainbow blend. And now we got our peas. Those we direct so. Got parsley, then the cilantro. Oh, found another bok choy packet. That's good. All right. That's just here. Let me put that. So easy to lose track when you're not doing things properly. Yeah. Stevia. I think I'm out of that. I didn't care for the stevia. It left that weird aftertaste. It's an acquired taste. So. I'm not going to be growing more of that. Hmm, I do want to get more winter density lettuce. It's definitely something I want to get more of. Alright. We are in April. Now things I want to try this year. Oh. All right, we got our dill, the bouquet, and the mammoth. Let's see. Yep, plenty of seeds for those. Cumin. I was not successful in growing that. I have a few seeds left. We'll try that again. Radish. Not a fan of radish, but I'll grow it. Maybe just to feed it to the chickens or try a different recipe. Purslane is another one of those that I just scatter about in a container. Kohlrabi. I finally got decent um, fruit out of this, but I ended up leaving it to the chickens. I have yet to taste kohlrabi. So I'm excited to grow that. Rutabaga. Finally got to harvest rutabaga. That was really good. I'm excited to grow that again. And for some reason, when I ordered it the first time, I ended up with extra seeds on that. 
Then we got all our tomatoes. Rutgers, Paul Robeson, <clears throat> San Marzano, Aunt Ruby's German Green. And then our, our Gobstopper Cherry, our sweet, super sweet 100 hybrid. Do we have any of that left? That might be out. And there's a couple of seeds left. Okay. Tomatillo. I failed. Oh, it grew gangbusters, but I failed to make anything of substance with it. So I feel kind of bummed about. Um, marigold. That's easy. Self-seeds. New this year. I'm going to try long grain rice. I don't know. I don't know how well that's going to do. We shall see. Alright, I'm running out of space. I'm just flopping these everywhere. I'll organize them after. Now, late in the season last year, I put in some okra. And they looked like they were coming up, but it was too late. So nothing came of that. But I'm excited to, to put that back in the ground. The cucumbers, I did not have a good season for cucumbers last year. Um, they got shaded out. There was a lot more pests than I've ever seen, so definitely trying that for sure again. Winter squashes. My acorn squash did not, I did not have enough plants that did not do well, but the butternut, butternut is great. I can't wait to plant more of that. That's a great winter staple. Yep. I have extra seeds for those already. Soybean. I only planted like two or three plants and I didn't really care for them appropriately, but I really liked that. Kidney beans. Loofah. Loofah's awesome. I'm gonna do that again. And then I got my other beans. Red noodle bean, Cherokee black, Oriental yard long. Another green red leaf amaranth a similar spinach and now we're getting into our summer summer crops so we've got corn I'm getting more of those because I have yet to find the variety that I'm in love with and then we got honey rock that's a honeydew and grid gris the wrens that's also a honeydew and then our other melons Sweet Siberian, uh, August Ambrosia, Moon and Stars. Moon and Stars is, I think, the only one we really ate out of. The other ones didn't, didn't. Um, he got taken by a pest, or I harvested it too quick, and so it wasn't that tasty. And last, let's see, what's last? No nope, more corn. I think that's all of it. Oh, we have, what's this one? Okay, so now we have a mystery pack. Oh, the sunflowers. It's somehow, I guess this is a flower. That's why I put it in the red garnet amaranth. Um, but otherwise, we have sunflowers, mammoth, red velvet, I mean, velvet queen, lemon queen, autumn beauty, sun gold tall, black Russian. Uh, I think I'm out of... We only have a couple seeds. Looks like I only have a couple of seeds of Stand Fast left. So I've ordered seeds from several places. Got Johnny's, Russian Seeds, and my gardener. Um, stuff I just picked up at Home Depot. Seed Savers Exchange. Um, oh, my next order is going to be Fedco. I need certain bigger items that that they have the and also seeds so all in one shop is ideal so fedco's is the next big order coming in ah. all right so i've made a good mess over here so i'm gonna really need to go through and organize better i'm gonna put these in a spreadsheet and while i like paper and pencil best. Some things just need to be better organized. I also have some other kitchen projects coming up, so stay tuned for those.
Talk to y'all soon. Bye. I nearly forgot. So I put it in order back in December or November. I'm not sure. And my gardener's first um, November first sale. So I got more onions. This is the red onion. I got more asparagus. I don't know why I have so many, but I got more asparagus. Broccoli. I'm gonna do it. My first year growing broccoli was really let down because of all the cabbage moths and the caterpillars eating and being eaten probably by me. But this year I'm gonna try really hard to get these broccoli um, bug free. I got another carrot, Atomic Red. I got, I'm trying the Black Crim Tomato. I'm growing Black Beauty Eggplant. And then I got another cantaloupe, Haley's Best Jumbo. And then two new watermelons, Crimson Sweet, and the Sugar Baby that everyone's raving about. When the Fedco order comes in, then we'll see what other varieties I, um, I decided to go with. But yeah, I think that's everything. I mean, there are seeds also that they save, the beans, the bean seeds, um, certain like pumpkin seeds from pumpkin I bought, flower seeds. I've saved several seeds, so we'll see how those go. But yeah, that's everything for now. Bye again.